important to understand about any power-off approach is we have three primary tools we can use to help uh, control our glide and our approach the, to our spot. Flaps, you have forward slips, and you have the geometry of your approach, okay? Okay. You don't have to just fly a perfect square when you have a power-off approach. If you are high and you need to lose altitude, you might extend your downwind or even extend your base oh. and then kind of S-turn back if okay. you're high. Okay. And you can also, you know, if you find yourself low, you don't have to you round your corners. You can make a straight line. Okay. Just dog leg it on final straight to the numbers, right? When you say dog leg. So like if you are on downwind and uh -huh. you're like turning base and you're like, uh-oh, I'm low. Uh-huh. But you don't want to continue on base and then turn final because you're already low. So instead, you're going to basically turn from a downwind straight to the numbers of the runway. Okay. So that's what we're talking about when we talk about the geometry of your approach. What shape are you going to fly in order to get there? Okay. Okay. So you've got the geometry approach. You have flaps. And of course, flaps we only want to use when we are sure we have that runway made. Now, flaps can also be used to an extent to extend our glide if we feel we're getting short, the first notch of flaps to 10 degrees, that'll give you more lift than drag. Okay, so it's a good way if you feel, hey, I'm getting low or whatever. Oh, interesting. Okay. Put 10 degrees of flaps in, that'll help extend you a little bit. Uh huh. 20 degrees of flaps will give you about drag. the same no? lift okay. versus drag. 30 degrees of flaps or beyond is not gonna give you anything but drag. Uh, as far as the power off approach is concerned. Okay. And then of course the forward slip. You can put a slip in uh, to help you get down if you're high and not, not gain uh, airspeed. Now, when your power is cut a beam your point, what airspeed are you uh, pitching for? Uh, maintain best glide, right? Well, that's what most people do. Okay. Here's the problem with that. If you're at your best glide speed immediately, okay, uh -huh. and you're holding it the whole way down, and you mess up, with, with the geometry of your approach, or you don't judge the winds correctly, or whatever the case is, yes. you make a mistake, and uh -huh. you find yourself low, what are you going to do? The answer is the you're not going to do anything. You're screwed. We are screwed. Okay. There's no way to, there's no way to get there, right? You're short, you're low, uh, you're at best glide, so Brace nothing you impact. do. Yeah, you're, <laughs> you're landing short, you're landing in the field. So what I do, and what I teach my students to do, rather than pitch for best glide, we are going to pitch for 10 knots over best glide. And what that does is it gives us money in the bank. If we're designing the geometry of our approach based off of an approach speed of 80, uh -huh. if we find ourselves short or low, okay. we have 10 knots of airspeed that we can still use to pitch up and extend my glide. Once you know you have the runway made, okay. then you can start pitching for best glide or just your normal approach speed. Start getting in your flaps and bring it down to your spot. All right, second stripe. Go for it. All right, power beat out and power back. Power beat out, power back. Pitch for 80. All right, you have to just keep an eye on your spot so you kind of get a sense of when to turn. Right here. We're still a little high if you were to turn now, so we don't want to be too high here. All right, go ahead and start turning now. Holding that 80. Yep, good, good, good bank in there. 30 degrees of bank. Keep it coordinated. Throw traffic, four kilo uniform, left base, zero two, turn up. Yep. Five, seventy. Yep, keep turning, you gotta keep turning here. Okay. Right, rudder. Gotta bring it around here. Okay. Bring it in towards the numbers. Okay. All right, now start pitching for 70. I'm trying to find my, where's my airport right there? <laughs> there it is. Okay, pitch for 70, 10 degrees of flaps. So now we're getting high, so go 20 degrees of flaps. And Aim for your numbers. Photo traffic, four kilo uniform, final, zero two, turn up. 70 degrees? No, this is at 63. Yep, you're good, just 70, 70. Yep, okay. just for 70, 70. Nose down, nose down, 70. I'm sorry. Yep, hold 70, just right here, straight towards the numbers. Okay. Okay. Okay, there's 70. Okay, hold 70. As we get closer here. Go and do 65 here, 65, pitch pitching up, up pitching yep, up. just fly it to the numbers, fly it to the numbers. Yeah. 60, no, this no. is 60. 
Okay, just keep flying, 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 but yeah, uh, you know, if you get over the numbers there at a little slower airspeed like that, you're like, oh, I'm not going to make my spot. You throw in that last thing of flaps, like, you know, I, I did it. Yeah, because you did, said... you just kind of whoop, you just get a little bump. Okay. Right? Yeah, you were saying, keep flying it, keep flying it. Keep flying so it. So I just... Yep, you just keep flying. 